Yeah, I know the Flames play in an hour. They also play in two hours. They have two simultaneous games going on with the Vancouver Canucks that are going to be home and home. We had already talked about the plan of the day in the previous video because today, which is Sunday, September 25th, I actually do have some hockey that I'm playing myself at 6 p.m. PST, so I won't be able to cover the events of the Canucks and the Flames games until after I come home. However, this video is indeed being pre-recorded on Saturday, September 24th, just to get everything out of the way. But today's video, just like yesterday's video going over Calgary, is pretty much just highlighting an individual comment that was made. It's not really that big of a deal, but I do think it's kind of funny to go out there and talk about this stuff. So just a little bit of a refresher. Yesterday we talked about how Daryl Sutter pretty much roasted former Flame and current Florida Panther Matthew Kachuk when it came to the comparisons between Kachuk and Toffoli. Today we're talking about the guy that Kachuk was traded for, or at least one of the guys that Kachuk was traded for, former Florida Panther and current Calgary Flames superstar first line left winger, one of the most underrated playmakers in the NHL today, Jonathan Huberdeau. And talking about his entire reaction to the trade in the first place. Now, Jonathan Huberto is an interesting name because, as we had said, he was a pretty underrated guy, I feel, for most of his NHL career. Sure, he was taken third overall back in 2011, but it wasn't really until 2017-2018-ish where Huberto became absolutely superstar-level caliber like he is today. That was around the time frame when he started to get 90 points on a season. He started to score excessively over a point per game. And last season, he had himself a 115-point year in 80 games played. He was second in the entire NHL behind Connor McDavid, tied with Johnny Gaudreau, who had also left the Calgary Flame system alongside of Matthew Kachuk. But pretty much, Huberto was an absolute stud. And I think a lot of people have really started to cement that idea in their minds. Yes, Huberto is one of the best playmakers in the entire National Hockey League. I mean, 85 assists in 80 points says a lot about what a guy is able to do. But Huberto was pretty interesting as a hockey profile because he had himself one season left at $5.9 million, which would start off in 2022-2023. After that, he would be due for an extension. And when it comes to Huberto being a guy that was drafted by Florida, he played in Florida. And up until the actual trade was announced, it was kind of expected that he would eventually sign his extension in Florida. It was going to be intriguing seeing what the dollar amount would become. You've already seen it with the Tampa Bay Lightning that they're able to sign guys that are pretty much in the 10, 11-ish plus million dollar caliber to contracts below $10 million because the state tax in Florida helps them out tremendously when it comes to dollars that they take home at the end of the day. When Jonathan Huberto was traded over from Florida to Calgary, which is very different from Florida, not just in terms of its environment, not just in terms of its climate, not just in terms of its people, but in terms of its monetary situation too for employees, a lot of people were going out there saying, hey, wait a minute, what's going on here? And Jonathan Huberto appears to be one of those as well. On the recent edition of the Spit and Chicklets podcast, in an interview with Keith Yandel, so fellow Florida Panthers former player, I guess you could say, and teammate of Jonathan Huberto, Biznasty goes out there and asks Keith about Jonathan Huberto's reaction to the trade to Calgary. He says, hey, is it true that when Jonathan Huberto learned that he was traded and Bill Zito was on the phone with him, he said F you to Bill Zito and then hung up the phone? And Keith pretty much goes out there and confirms that the story happened in that kind of way. Biz actually gets the details wrong. He says, oh, Huberto asked where to, and then after Zito said Calgary, that's when he said F you. But no, it's not really like that. Apparently, according to Keith Yandel, the situation was just straight up, yeah, no, screw you for trading me, man. And honestly, just considering the circumstances of everything, I could totally understand why a guy like Jonathan Huberto was probably pretty pissed off that he had gotten traded from the Florida Panthers after putting up a 115-point year to Calgary. Now, that's not to disrespect Calgary, it's just circumstantially, you know. You're used to being in Sunrise, Florida, where it's all cool and calm the entire time, the media isn't as hard on you, and you're really, really good as a hockey player, and you're taking home a lot of money. Then you get sent over to a place in Canada where it's a lot colder, the media is a lot more difficult, there's more travel in between the teams, and, you know, the money's not as good. Not to mention the fact when it's just like, yeah, I was one of the best players in the NHL, and you end up trading me? Are you serious? 
This is a Reddit thread that I wanted to read on the R Hockey subreddit talking about the clip in question and why Huberto might have been as pissed off as he was. Here's a comment from Inar. Yeah, it has nothing to do with Calgary and everything to do with Bill Zito making Huberto fear that he lost $84 million overnight. As soon as Brad Treliving promised to do right by Huberto by extending him in a week or two, he wasn't on the fence about Calgary anymore. It was always about the money. Why wouldn't it be? considering it was one of the biggest paydays in NHL history that Huberto worked his entire life to earn. Mean Mr. Mustard then says, well, in fairness, if Calgary hadn't been willing to give Huberto that much money, I'm pretty sure one of the other 30 NHL teams would have instead. Cruel Ruin goes out there and says this, I mean, I get where Huberto is coming from, even if it wasn't the most gracious response. He's been with the Panthers all his career, and then he underperforms once against the two-time defending Stanley Cup champions, and he's the one taking the fall. Along with Uyghur, but that's another story. The Panthers' loss reminded me of the 2019 Lightning getting swept by the Blue Jackets, with Huberto as Kucherov. Only one team held on to their star playmaker forward that collapsed in the series, and the other didn't. I guess we'll see here how it goes for the Panthers this year. And honestly, I've been seeing that response pop up a little bit more than I thought I would. Even on the Florida Panthers subreddit, the first comment to Jonathan Huberto's response to the trade is this. Love Huberto, but maybe don't totally disappear in the playoffs if you want an extension. And, I mean, he had five points in ten games. That's not that bad. Is it? I get it, they got swept, it was not great at all, but... To be completely fair, it could have been worse. And I know that the Florida Panthers had a lot of expectation heading into the postseason, and a lot of those players kind of underperformed, Huberto being one of them. It's still understandable to me why he would have responded to Zito in the way that he did, yelling F you in the guy's face and then just hanging up before going over to Calgary. Now you have this sort of vengeance, this desire to prove everybody wrong by saying, yeah, okay, I'm going to sign this eight-year by $10.5 million extension that kicks in in 2023-2024, and I'm going to go out there, play with Nazem Kadri. I'm going to play with, who the heck else is there? Tyler Toffoli, we're going to go out there and have a squad. We still got Tana, we still got Markstrom. This team is going to be good. And now you have Daryl Sutter going out there also talking about how Tyler Toffoli is more valuable than Kachuk because of playoff experience. Yeah, there you go. The Calgary Flames, man. They're coming in hot to start off the year. And these comments from guys like Huberto and Daryl Sutter are making things way more fun and interesting. So, talk to the comments like your thoughts about Jonathan Huberto and his response to the trade. It's been very apparent, for all Flames fans aside here, that... Huberto has really accepted responsibility and the role that he has been given here as a member of the Flames. They pretty much said, okay, we don't have Gaudreau and Kachuk anymore. You are going to be our guy. You and Kadri, you're our guys now. And sure, Calgary might not be as fun to live in as Florida is or anywhere else in the States is or wherever the heck else. But we got fans here that love the game. We got some money that we can pay you. Sure, there's an extra amount of tax that you're going to have to be subjected to comparative to Florida, but still... We've got hockey, we've got a good team, come and join us, and Huberto has definitely, definitely played the part well. So, talk to the comments your thoughts about Huberto and his response to the trade. Bill Zito going out there and calling the guy, saying that he got traded, and him replying in his face with a big F.U., and also, just kind of the whole dynamic of the trade as well. I'd still seen some people popping around here and there saying that it's kind of difficult to even justify why Florida made this trade in the first place. I mean, you're getting Matthew Kachuk, who's a good player, of course. But Huberto, Uyghur, these guys are very good too. So, I don't know. I guess we're going to have to wait a little bit to see how the cookie crumbles. But talk in the comments your thoughts either way, all your thoughts about Huberto and the trade. I hope you enjoyed this video. And... Bye.